professor of the public understanding of science, not professor of delivering truth to the public. And these are two different exercises. One of them is you put the truth out there and like you said, they either buy your book or they don't. Well, that's not being an educator, that's just putting it out there. Being an educator is, part, is not only getting the truth right, but there's got to be an act of persuasion in there as well. Persuasion isn't always, here's the facts, you're either an idiot or you're not. It's, it's here are the facts and here, is, and here is a sensitivity to your state of mind and it's the facts plus the sensitivity when convolved together creates impact. And I worry that your, your methods and your, your, your how, how, how articulately barbed you can be ends up simply being ineffective yeah. when, when you have much more power of influence than what is currently reflected in your output. I gratefully accept the rebuke. Um, <laughs> um, I, just just one, one anecdote to show that I'm not the worst in this thing. Um, <laughs> a, um, a former and highly successful editor of New Scientist magazine, who actually built up New Scientist to great new heights, was asked, what is your philosophy at New Scientist? And he said, our philosophy at New Scientist is this. Science is interesting, and if you don't agree, you can fuck off. <laughs>